11 o'clock. I didn't know it was so late. Good night. Good night, dear. That's funny. There's a pair of gloves in my pocket. Are these yours? Let me put them on for you. Bob, I really must go now. Good night. And honey, you will be on time tomorrow night, won't you? You were late tonight and I was worried. I'll try awfully hard, Bob. Just drive down the street a bit. I'll tell you where to go later. I'll tell you where to go right now. Police headquarters. Come on, get up there. Well, 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 if it isn't Richie. This is indeed an honor and a pleasure. It takes so little to give some people pleasure, doesn't it? Where's Thunderbolt? Who? Don't try any of that stuff on me. You know who I mean. In case your memory has suddenly left you, let me remind you of Jim Lang, sometimes called Jim Carson, sometimes called, oh, sometimes called anything in the world, but always known as Thunderbolt. I suppose that you've never even heard of the Hillinger case, or the million dollar St. Louis terminal job, or the time that he held up the Iroquois Bank single-handed. He's wanted right now by nine states for bank robbery, and there's two more that'd like to talk to him on a little matter of murder. Now maybe you can remember who he is. Quit your stalling, where is he? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you try to ritz me, Ritzy. Where did you see him last? I don't remember. Oh, you won't talk, eh? Well, maybe you can tell me this. Who was the other half of the bench picnic in the park tonight? Bench picnic? I was in the park tonight, but I was alone. Your men must be seeing double, Inspector. Oh, my men were seeing double, were they? Well, here's the other half of what they saw. Well, I've had enough of this, Stalling. You two have been meeting night after night for months, and I know it. Well, supposing we have been meeting. Being in love is no crime yet. Maybe not. But being in love with her is apt to cause you a lot of trouble, young fellow. I wonder if you know that she's the girlfriend of the most notorious criminal this state has ever known. She's been a member of his gang for two years, ever since she met him. I don't know a woman in this city that knows more about him and his affairs than she does. I know all about that. That's all over now. Where's Thunderbolt? I don't own, I don't care. What do you do for a living? I work in a bank. How would you like to lose your job? And maybe work in a penitentiary? That's where you're headed. You let him alone. He's on the level. He's got nothing to do with that crowd. Listen, Ritzy, you're a smart girl, and you can save yourself a lot of trouble by giving us a line on Thunderbolt. You know, we can make it pretty hot for you. You've got nothing on me, and you know it. If you had, you'd have locked me up long ago. I'm through with that mob for good. Whatever mistakes I've made, I've paid for, in my own way. What do you say, Chief? Shall I take him down and book him? Never mind. You can go now. Let him go. Good 
Good night, Inspector. And thank you. Don't let that dame out of your sight. Thunderbolt would go through an iron wall to see her. And we want to be there when they meet. There's always the chance of nabbing him as long as she's out. of bone and just ruins you, all in one little smack of room. That's why they call him Thunderbolt. Say, one little piece of lead and the littlest guy living is bigger than the biggest man dead. Say, why don't nobody take a shot at him? Well, the cemetery is full of them that miss. <laughs> Let's have some real service, Oscar. And your regular order, sir? Right. What are you going to have, baby? Nothing. That means she'll have a chicken sandwich and a glass of milk. You get kids about this. What's the matter, Ritzy? What are you sore about? I'm well, not sore. What good would it do if I were? What are you looking at? I'm looking at nothing. And it's wearing a tuxedo. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Stay right with him, baby. Don't let him get away with anything. It might be lightning to a lot of people, but you're just a wet match to me. Say, you big bozo, that ain't no way to treat a lady. No. Give me that gun. So you don't like the way I treat a lady, huh? I ain't gonna wait for that ham sandwich another minute. I ain't hungry as you. Oh, you boy. Think somebody better call you an ambulance. When I get home, I'm gonna tell my <laughs> husband. <laughs> Annie. Nobody what don't you get stop? it. There's gonna be trouble in here in a minute. I told you it's gonna hit him. Take it easy, Harry. Be careful. They're gonna shoot again. Never. Wait a minute. Get back there. Where do you guys think you're going? Watch him, Jimmy. I want to go home. Sit down. I hey, oh, 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 two of you men, oh, 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 go clean up this mess out here. You're fine. Everything all right, Chief? Tough crowd here tonight. Yeah, how do you feel tonight, Snapper? Oh, fine, Chief. Hello there, Ritzy. Have some nuts. Great for the system. Fills up the body. How about your mind? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, fill up. What are we doing, Snapper? Oh, drag that cluck out of here, will you? A couple of used guys? Let me help you, Snapper. 
Hey, lay off that, will you? That's my you trigger, trigger finger. finger. What a fine night this is. Police, boys, get out of here. Music, boys. Suppose you thought it was funny stopping that ruckus. Strikes me you could stand a little cooling off. How would you like a dose of it yourself? Go right ahead. I wouldn't put it past you for a minute. Baby, get me sore. If you like keeping, it's fine the time of eating Jim, I'm going to quit. What again? I love it, Daddy. I mean it this time. I've been trying to tell you. I'm not going on with it anymore. I'm through. Through with what? What are you talking about? All this. These people. You. We're going to have this out right now. We'll find a place where we can talk. Come on. I don't get you at all. You tell me you want to step out tonight, go somewhere that's lively. I risk my neck by walking into this joint with all the cops in the world on my trail. It's a 10 to 1 shot. There's a couple of dicks shadowing you right now to get to me. It's all right with me. I can take care of myself. But I do all this. I take this big chance. And your idea of the way to behave is to Start that foolishness all over again. What's the big idea? It's just this, Jim. I want to be decent again. Well, you've always been the most decent kid in the racket. You know, I used to get a big kick out of being your girl. Out of knowing that you take a chance on your life just to see me for a few minutes. You're the swellest girl I ever knew. You wouldn't want to keep me if I didn't want to stay, would you, Jim? Wouldn't I? I'd keep you with me if the whole world didn't want you to stay and make them like it. That's just it. I don't want people to respect me because they're afraid you'll crush their heads if they don't. I don't want the police trailing me wherever I go. I don't want people pointing at me and whispering about me. All this ritzy talk boiled down means that you, you're ashamed of me, huh? No, just ashamed of myself. I want to know people who are different from you and me. People who lead decent, normal lives. 
People who get up in the morning to go to work. Regular people. Oh, don't be a fool. I don't care what you call me, Jim. That's the way I'm going to live from now on. I'm going to quit. Well, let me tell you something, Ritzy. Maybe I'd like to go straight, too. I haven't thought about it much. Maybe I don't know how. But as long as I'm going my way, you're going with me. You're all I've got that means anything to me. Do you think I'm going to... Oh, come on, let's have a good time. You'll feel better in the morning. Wait a minute. You haven't fallen for another guy, have you? Who is he? There's no other guy, Jim. It's just that we're through. You and me will never be through, Ritzy. Get that straight. You're my girl and nobody on earth can take you away from me. Do you think you could hold me if I didn't love you anymore? That don't worry me. It's the guy that tries to take you away from me who's got the worrying to do. No, oh, I know it would be easy enough for you to get your gang to do anything. That's one job I wouldn't let anybody do for me. Come on, David. Come on. <laughs> I'd get that guy by myself if it was the last thing in this world I ever did. switch. Don't get excited, folks. It's only a little raid. Everybody who can stand a pinch will kindly keep their seats. Stand still there, or I'll shoot. Don't move. I ain't moving, boss. I've been pushed. Where's Thunderbolt? Come clean. Where is he? I don't know. And I don't ever want to know. I want you men to get this and get it straight. It's been two months since Thunderbolt got away from you and he's got to be found. Thunderbolt's girl's been living up at young Moran's house for weeks with a kid and his mother. Don't tell me that that kid doesn't know something about Thunderbolt. Put the works on him. He'll talk when it's a question of talking or being out of a job. Hello, Mom. 
hope you're late, Bob. Yeah, I stayed overtime. Hello, Mary. Hello. I'm so glad you're here, Bob. We were worried. Oh, I'm sorry, Mary, but there's nothing to worry about. Everything was all right at the bank, wasn't it? Everything was perfect. Yes, sir. Everything was perfect. Until about four o'clock. What happened about four o'clock? Nothing much. I just got fired. That's why I stayed late, to turn over my accounts. You're joking. I'm not joking. It's the truth. What was it, Bob? What was the matter? Nothing. Mr. Carl and I just couldn't agree on how a bank should be run. It was on my account, wasn't it? Don't be silly. Tell me, Bob. I've got to know. They just told me I'd have to make a choice. Either I'd have to give you up or else... Or else what? Just or else, that's all. Well, I'm glad he quit. I never could understand why you wanted to stay at that bank anyhow. I don't think there was much chance for you there. Wherever you go, they'll always be finding out about me. Let them. There's nothing to find out about you. Do you know I always thought you were too good for that place? They didn't appreciate you. Oh, don't start crying, dear. You get your nose red. <laughs> Thing like this doesn't bother us, does it, Mom? We've looked for jobs before. I should never have come here at all. I knew it wasn't right. What it wasn't, wasn't right? right? Coming to live here with you and your mother. You've been wonderful to me. And this is the way I'm repaying you. Getting you discharged. Oh. You're working yourself up over nothing, Mary. What if I do lose a job now and then? What difference does it make? Come on, let's all go out and have a good time tonight. <laughs> Oh, Bob, your mother has fixed a lovely supper for us. The lovely supper will keep. Bob is right. What you two need is to go out and enjoy yourselves. Yeah, we can't let a chance like this go by. I may not get fired again for a long time. I've got some mending to do. You children go along by yourselves. Come now, come and get all dressed up. <laughs> Someone knock, Bob? I thought I heard a knock. There's no one out here. Come on, get your hat, Bob. You ready? Run along, dear. Have a good time. Good night. <laughs> good night. Good night, Mom. I don't feel that way. Nothing important has happened. The thing that gets me is that I was expecting a promotion. And you know what that meant. I'm not going to wait any longer. As soon as I get a job again, we're going to be married. There's no sense in waiting. Well, if it ain't the long lost child. Hello there, Ritzy. Well, I was a long time finding you. I think you've made a mistake. You made a mistake, baby, thinking you could keep out of sight. Come on, Bob. So this is the old hideaway, is it? Well, I guess you know Thunderbolt's been looking high and low for you, don't you? Why didn't you let him know where you were? Drop him a postcard or something. I'm not interested in Thunderbolt. You're not, huh? And this is the cupie that made a sucker out of Thunderbolt. Huh? Why, well, I wouldn't be in your shoes for all the rice in China. Stay on the level, Ritzy. What have you been doing with yourself all this time? Take your hand off her. Don't shove me. I'll shove you. Yeah. Well, I'll teach you to shove me. Look out, Bob. He's got to go. Come on, Bob. Let's go back upstairs. I'd like to take another sock at that guy. You've hurt your hand, too. Come on, Bob. Did you fall downstairs? Why, what happened? He fell downstairs, the poor man. Did you hear someone I'd put a piece of fresh beefsteak on that eye if I were you. Hey, well, you ain't me. My sister always puts the tea down the back of her neck to stop a nosebleed. Well, I'll slip something down the back of your neck if you'd only be alone. Where's the nearest telephone around here? Get in, come here. Don't you dare go near there. Hey, they ought to fix the carpet on those stairs. Everybody hurt. What's the matter? 
Nothing. She talked me out of going out. You've hurt your hand. What's happened? I guess I knocked it against something. What's happened, Mary? We ran into a man I used to know. He tried to get fresh. Bob had to hit him. Oh, I... I see. I... Well, we'll put something on it. Don't bother, Mom. Now, It'll come on. We'll right. wash it out and put some iodine on it. I don't want any of that stuff on it. Take a week for it to wear out of the Ma, oh, you treat me coming. like I was a baby. That's all you act like when you're hurt. I ain't hurt. You got me mixed up with the other guy. <laughs> I'll bet you never touched the other guy. Yeah? Well, no mother will be able to fix him up for a long time. Mm, that's what you say. I'd like to see him to believe that. How's every little thing? I'll be coming up your way. If I can't, eh? I'll come right down. What for? It won't make any difference to your boyfriend. You might as well say goodbye to him now. I just called up to give you a fair warning. I don't, want any don't want any. Now hold still, hold still. Ouch! Ow! Now look what you've done. All over my clean floor. I'll clean it up. Not my towels. Ouch. You do nothing but buy towels for this place. Look out there now. You know I keep the floor cloth under here? Look at that, my darling. You never can get that up. Well, I told you not to bring it out, didn't I? I'd like to put some on your... Jiggers, well, I'll get now. sore now. Well, what do you do if you get sore? Well, I'll show you. I'm yes. bigger than you are. Yes, well, <laughs> now, let go of that box. Now, look out. You get your hands all dirty. Give me that rag. Now, Give me that rag. I told you nothing. Well, Bob, now, stop it. You're nothing but a great big baby. Now, will you stop Give it? Give baby. Let go. <laughs> Say, Bob, now, look. Well, who do you think I am? With that fellow down there. Yeah, I'm working with you, Mom. <laughs> Mom, take a look, will you? Well, now, don't worry. She's only gone to the grocer's or something. I know, but she's been gone such a long time. But here's her pocketbook and gloves. She'll be back soon. I'm worried. Well, I'm the one that ought to be worried with the dinner getting cold and everything. Do you think we ought to call the police? Now, Bob, don't be so silly. She'll be back in less than no time. 
Hello? I thought I told you to beat it. Now come on, go home. I got work to do. Come on, boy. Nice little girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Now, Bob, don't go near that door. I'm not going near the door, Mom. Come on away now. There's that bark again. Well, what if a dog does bark? I didn't know there was a dog in the house. Don't go out, Bob. Please, for my sake. Don't go out until Mary returns. What are you barking for? I thought I told you to beat it. You're going for a walk. You poor little mutt. Go on home. If you've got a home, I got no time to play with you now. Put up your hands. You're under arrest. All right, put him up. And keep him up. Frisk him, Bill. <whistles> Slip the bracelets on him. Come on, come in. 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 Come
It took a mutt like you to send me up. I didn't know you had a dog. Is he yours? He is now. He cost me plenty. Ain't he beautiful? I wouldn't brag about him. Come on, boys. Couldn't be more comfortable at the Ritz. One-way street, huh? Everything coming in and nothing going out. Now take care of yourself and don't catch cold. Plenty of blankets here. And look out for pneumonia. Might give this place a bad name. I want to go to heaven when I die 
Might as well get me right from the start. I'm number one. Anywhere. Well, number three, or number one, or whatever you are. Do you sit in tenor? Who, me? I kill tenors. Oh, a tough guy, eh? Too bad you ain't a tenor. We had a swell quartet. But they took our tenor yesterday. Hey, number four. What does that new bird look like? Well, ain't much to be said about him. Pretty big. Got a mug on him like they used to scare babies with. Looks like he cuts his hair with a knife. I'll diamond. close your trap. Hey, is that you, Thunderbolt? That's me. Reading from left to right. Thunderbolt. Who wants to know? Don't tell me that you've forgotten me. Boy, that sounds like Chuck. Is that you, kid? The kid himself. Sure thing. Say, what are you in for, big boy? Being kind to animals. I just got too interested in a dog, that's all. You know any more jokes? This place is for killers. Who is that, a friend of yours, Chuck? Friend of mine? I should say not. How long are you going to stop in our hotel, Jim? About eight weeks. Anybody else in here I ought to know? Call the roll for him, boys. Joe Ripley. In here so long, I've forgotten what I'm in for. Kentucky Samson. <laughs> Caught on my 13th job. I was that good the jury brought in a verdict of guilty before they went out to lunch. I'm next door, Jim. Number five. Hey, Pat. Give me a light, will you? Everybody talk about it. Help me going down. Going to shout all over God's heaven. I got Leave those matches here, will you, Pat? I will in a pig's neck. Sure you know it's against the rules. And furthermore, my name is not Pat. <laughs> what is your name? Don't tell him. Make him guess. Number six. Making my exit today. I got a song. You got a song. All of God's children got a song. Number seven is at the piano. Special dispensation from the ward. Number eight. Ethelbert Roberts. Murder in the first degree. Brought up by honest parents. That is, they was honest as far as I know. And absolutely on a level until my twelfth birthday. Number ten now broadcasting. Bad Al Freebird, that's me. I guess I don't have to tell you who I am. Maybe you should. I never heard of you. Don't kid me. Everybody heard about me. There was whole pages in the papers when I was caught. Pictures and everything. The machine gun terror. That's what they call me. Oh, yes, I remember you now. The machine gun terror, huh? Well, down my way, they call you Squirt Gun Al. I'll squirt gun you, you big stiff of I ever. Big fathead, I'll bet you bragged your way into the joint. Come on, number seven. Back to yourself. <laughs> As I was saying, I was absolutely on the level until my 12th birthday. And then, well, nothing much happened till I was 37. Then I blew up over a dame. You're not the only one. You said it. There's a dame behind every guy in this joint. 
That was the trouble with me. The dames wouldn't let me alone. I wouldn't be here now if two skirts had to fell for me at the same time. Yeah, I know. Fell for you, you mean tripped. Trying to get out of your way. Say, listen. I've had about enough out of you. I'd show you something if they let me out of here a couple of minutes. You big cluck. What would you do, big boy? I'd do plenty. Don't you worry about that. I ain't afraid of you or that phony right hand of yours. Sure you're not. With these bars between us. Hello, Mr. Moran. Hello, Jack. How are you? Fine. sent for me, Mr. Carlin. I did nothing of the sort. That's funny. Your secretary phoned the house yesterday and left word that you wanted to see me. Miss Randall has gone to lunch. Is there anything I can do for you, sir? No, never mind. I don't see why she should have called you up. There's nothing I want to see you about. I bothered you. Even a bank ain't safe from these gangsters. Come on, come on. Hey, what's coming off here? Come on. Hello, Jim. Good evening, Chaplin. You seem happy tonight. I just got some great news. What would you call great news? Getting out of here? Well, that doesn't worry me. I've always paid my way. What does worry you? Maybe I can help you. You couldn't help me with this. I've got to do this myself. Well, maybe I can help you some other time. Maybe you can. Come on, you guys. Come and get me. Get back there. Get back. 
You men will only get me into trouble. I'll handle this. Watch me. Now, you turn over that gun this minute, do you hear? This is my last warning. If you don't, we'll just have to fill you full of bullets. Go ahead. That's what I want you to do. I don't care how I croak as long as I beat you to it. Bad Al Friedberg. That's me. Now, listen, Al. Listen to reason. We've got to execute you tonight. Besides, you haven't got a chance, Al. That gun's empty. How do you know? We caught the guy who sold it to you. I'll show you whether it's empty or not. Uh, don't point that thing at me. Bring on your gas. I don't care how I die, as long as I die shooting. Yeah, you'll die shooting, shooting off your mouth. Then I'll get you two before I'm through. You ain't big enough, little boy. I'll fill you full of lead if it's the last thing I do. Yes, and if I was the warden, I'd take that gat away from you and shove it down your throat. If I could only get close enough to take a crack you at you. You haven't got the nerve it takes to crack a slot machine. Get out of the way, boys. Clear the deck. Give me that gun, you rat. Give it to you. I'll give it to you, all right. Just a little accident, Doc. Somebody hit him. Why did he hit him with a sledgehammer? Looks like a very dangerous concussion. It won't be fatal, will it? Listen, Doc. You've just got to see that this man lives. Do something! I've got to execute him tonight. Take him to the hospital and put him on the table. He certainly had a terrible shock. Be careful with him, boys. You shouldn't have hit that man so hard, Jim. Don't worry about him, Warden. He'll come out of it in a couple of hours. I just tapped him. Well, anyway, I'm much obliged to you. And if there's any little favor I can do for you, that is within reason. Well, if it isn't asking too much, I would like to have that dog of mine in here with me. Well, I guess we can fix that up for you, all right. I thought I had that quartet broken up, but I no sooner get rid of one than they send me another. You sure pulled me out of an awful mess. It's a pleasure, Warden. I'd have been in a tough spot if this thing had broken in the papers. Think of the scandal! I'll fix that dog thing up for you in a day or two. Couldn't be more comfortable at the Ritz. And don't you give me any trouble. I'm having trouble enough around here. I'll see you later, number four. Number four! You 
It's calling you, new guy. You're number four. What are you in for, new guy? They were robbing a bank and someone got killed. They found a revolver in my pocket. You didn't have anything to do with it, did you? Not a thing. That's fine. Now tell us another bedtime story. Hey, what does he look like, number three? Swing around there, buddy, so as I can get a good look at you. Don't be bashful. I'm not going to bite you. Well, he ain't so bad to look at, I guess. Got a face like those fellows on the collar ads. And I ain't sure but what he's got a dimple or two. Beautiful hair and kind of a mushy mouth. Looks like one of those lady killers, if you ask me. The kind of silly dame is bound to fall for. What's your name, new guy? Moran. Bob Moran. Moran, huh? Say, ain't you the guy I've been reading about that stole Thunderbolt's girl? Take me out to the ball. It might interest you to know the guy across the way from me is a party by the name of Thunderbolt. You two guys ought to know each other better. You put me in here. You frame me. You know I'm innocent. You're railroading me. I like to get my hands on you just once. Just once. Just once. You got me wrong, kid. I've never done anything to you. You're a dirty liar! You framed me! You got me into this! I'm not afraid of you! I'm not scared! I'm not afraid to die! Say, Thunderbolt, I saw a say to you, will you stop teaching that dog to roll over and play dead? He's giving me the willies. Get the handcuff crew. Hey, up there on the upper deck. Front and center. Yo! The district attorney wants to see you down in my office. What does he want? I don't know. Well, I don't want him bothering me anymore. I got enough to worry about as it is. Well, you haven't got much longer to worry about anything. So you've set the date for my kickoff, have you? Yep. I've got two for the week of January the 7th. Who's the other one? Moran goes on Monday. And you're set for Saturday. That's great. You know, I was glad that your lawyers got you that temporary reprieve so that you could be around a little while longer. You don't take it so hard. But some of these other fellows... Come on, get out of here. I may be sentenced to death, but you've got no right to make me listen to that same piece of music every time that band plays here. It's cruel and inhuman. I come here for rest and recreation. You're just plain ungrateful, that's all. I'm sorry you ever came here. 
So am I. Come on, bring him up. Sit down, Jim. How are you, McKay? Let's get down to cases, Jim. You know me, and you know the kind of a man I am. Yeah. Well, I don't want to send an innocent man to his death. As a matter of fact, I'd fight just as hard to get an innocent man out of here as I would fight to put a guilty man in here. All right, I'll vote for you. What are you running for? Now, this is a serious matter, Jim. And will pay you to be serious about it. I may be helping to snuff out the life of an innocent man. You mean you're sorry for railroading me? Several people have been to see me about Bob Moran. He's the man you were going to kill the night you were caught. I was going to kill? You got me mixed up with somebody. I make it a point never to kill any Morans. Then why did you go to his apartment that night? I'll bite, why did I? You tell me, you know everything. That kind of an attitude won't help you any. I'm not looking for help. When I want your help, I'll let you know. Do you know this lady? No, who is she? Bob Moran is my son. He's my only child. I came down here to ask you to help me to save him. Well, I guess it's no use, is it? What's the idea of pulling this sob stuff on me? Just a minute. Oh, Mary. Oh. Oh. Jim, you're not going through with this, are you? What are you talking about? I know you, Jim. You're a killer. But you were always fair. You were never mean. You were never cruel. Have I got to listen to all this junk, Warden? No. Not if you don't want to. You listen to me, Jim. You had Bob framed for that killing. You said you would get him, and you did. What's the idea? What are you trying to frame up on me here? I guess that'll be all, Warden. Oh, Mary. Mary. Oh. Jim, those two women need that boy. If there's anything you can say that will help them, say it now. Home, James. I don't see how I can do any more for you folks. Oh, you mean... You mean you won't reopen the case? There's nothing I can do. Oh. The only oh. chance we had was for him to confess. But it was clear from his attitude. Surely you Attitudes can see... Attitudes don't count. I'm oh. sorry. 
We need evidence. I guess you'd like to get close to one of them, wouldn't you? Well, you're not going to. Why not? I wouldn't hurt him. Not much you wouldn't. I can't quite get your angle. Aren't you satisfied he's going to be executed? What more do you want? I don't settle my debts that way. I'm going to get him myself. If you ever get any closer to him than you are right now, it'll be over my dead body. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate and is not by any to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently. Into this holy estate, these two persons present come now to be joined. If any man can show just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, oh. let him now oh. speak, or else hereafter forever hold his peace. Oh. Wilt thou have this woman to be thy wedded wife? Oh. Wilt thou love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her, so long as ye both shall live, oh. I will. Wilt thou have this man to be thy wedded husband? Wilt thou obey him and serve him, love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him, so long as ye both shall live? I will. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? I do. Repeat after me. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring oh. I thee wed. And with all my worldly goods I thee endow. And with all my worldly goods I thee endow. Those whom God hath joined together let no man put asunder. I now pronounce you man and wife. Oh, my torture. Oh, my torture. Oh, my. I'm sorry. Oh. But time is up. Oh, my. My boy. You'll have to go now, Mrs. Moran. Oh, my boy. Just a minute, Warden. Let me be the first to give them a wedding present. Moran doesn't belong in here. They were right. I had him framed. Jim. You keep out of this. I'm talking to the warden. And get away from me before I change my mind. You're to blame for it. 
for this. I've been in this racket now for 30 years. And this is the first time I ever saw anything like this happen. Four hours before an execution. Before anything else happens, I'm going to call up the governor and get a stay. Maybe you better take my statement first. I know what to do. I've been running a jail all my life. Don't you try to teach me my business. Come on, you two. You've just got to go now. You'll have to leave now, madam. I knew you'd come through, Jim. Oh, leave me alone. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thunderbolt. Done a wonderful thing, Jim. Well, I've been here a long time now, and I'm shuffling off at the end of the week. I've had a lot of time to think things over. Better lie down, Bob. Try and get some sleep. I want to speak to him. I want to thank him. I want to shake his hand. We'll shake hands on it Saturday when I go. Hey, Thunderbolt! What's the idea of going nuts? I thought you didn't like that guy. A little music, Professor. Now, don't argue with me. I just left Thunderbolt playing checkers with Moran. And I know what I'm talking about. He had to get Moran reprieved. He's always had his mind set on bumping off this clock all by himself. And this is the only way he could do it. You guys give me a pain. No imagination. He's going to wait until they opens up the door to take him for the last walk, see? Then he's going to go over to say goodbye to the boyfriend. Now, get me. I'm Thunderbolt, and you're the kid, see? They opens up the cell door and starts me for the walk. Then I goes over to say goodbye to the boyfriend. I sticks out the left hand. Now, see, boys? This is the minute the Thunderbolt's been waiting for. Well, so long, pal, I says. And then, suckle right through the ball. All right. Hey, wait a minute. This invitation is for last week's execution. What do you think we do here? Give our rain checks? Ow. What a heart. Good for a hundred years. It ought to be. It's only been jolted once. 
She's Mrs. Moran now. Give me a light, will you, Timothy? What's the matter, Moran? Aren't you happy now that you're getting out of here? I'm not worried about myself. I'm getting out in a couple of weeks, the warden said. I'm worried about you. Don't you worry about me. Hey, Timothy, these clothes don't fit me. Take a squint at them. How do you think I'm going to look? What do you care how you're going to look? You're not going anywhere. And the name is not Timothy. <laughs> well, don't get sore about it. I'll guess it before I'm through. Come on, boy. We got a couple of minutes more to play. attention, Jim. Whereas, at a trial time of the... You don't need to read that death warrant to me, Warden. I know it backwards. I beg your pardon. Don't you bother me now when I've got my mind full of a million details. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. I knew I'd forgotten something. What do you want for lunch? You can have anything you want, you know. All we've got to do is to bring it in. Lunch, what time is it? Three minutes after 11. What time is the big show? 11.20. So you're going to give me 17 minutes to eat in, huh? Well, I'm not going to bolt my food down in a hurry. I'd have indigestion all afternoon. I'll tell you what I would like to have, Warden. Anything within reason, Jim. I'd like to have a good shot. Nothing doing. The only stuff we've got is in the hospital, and you've got to be sick to get it. Well, I'm sick. Who's got a better right to be? You are sick, aren't you? On the level, you don't feel good, do you? I feel terrible. I feel like I'm going to die. Hey, guy! Tom Oates says he don't feel so good. He feels like he's going to die. Ha, 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 ha. See what I can do about getting you a little something. How do you feel, Jim? Same as ever. The same as ever? Yep. You and me can't do any business. I've lived all my life without what you stand for. And I guess I'll have to die the same way. You don't mind my sticking around in case you change your mind? Make yourself right at home. Hey, Thunderbolt, what do you want us to sing when you go into your dance? I don't know. What have you got? Well, how about uh, Broken Hearted? That ought to fit you like a glove. There she is, my old gal. There he is, my old pal. And here am I, broken hearted. <laughs> How do you like that? That's not so bad. How do you like it, Moran?
Here you are. You better take this, Warden. You need it worse than I do. I certainly did need it. You ought to be glad you haven't got my job. You have no idea what I go through. Don't you worry, boy. It's me that's going, not you. Everything all set? Yep. Let's go. So long, Shorty. See you soon. Thanks, Thunderbolt. Send us a postcard. Sure, X marks my room. Wish you were here. Jim, aren't you going to say goodbye to me? Me not say goodbye to you? I'll be back in a minute, Moran. I'm saving you for the last. There she is, my old gal. There he is, my old pal. And here am I, broken hearted. My dear May is in June. She forgot mighty soon. And here am I. I wish I could help you now, Jim, the way you helped me. Funny, sizing us two up. Nobody would ever think you were the better man. Why, well, you're the better man, Jim. You've taught me a lot these last couple of days. You'll be seeing Ritzy soon, won't you, Moran? She's a great little girl, isn't she? You were pretty lucky to take her away from me, weren't you? I didn't mean to tell you, Jim, but I guess I will. Somehow I think you ought to know. I ought to know what? I didn't take her away from you, Jim. It was you that took her away from me. I took her away from you? We've always been sweetheart, since we were kids. And then she met you. Well, I didn't amount to much, and she thought you were wonderful. She never told me anything about that. I guess I was nothing to brag about. I always did have a peculiar habit of taking things that didn't belong to me. That's why I'm here. You're kind of crazy about her, aren't you? I love her, Jim. Well, I guess I do, too. I still do.
Good luck, kid. Good luck to you both. Give her my love. And take care of her, whatever you do. Well, Chaplin, I might as well give you a break, too. Come on. So long, old timer, and don't take any wooden biscuits. <laughs> hey, Dinty, come here, will you, and give me one more light? Here, Dinty. I guess I'll quit smoking. Thanks. And my name isn't Dinty. And before you go, I want you to know that my name is Aloysius. And you didn't guess it. Your name is what? Aloysius. What did you say your name was? Aloysius, and you didn't guess it. Who would have guessed it? Hello. <laughs> 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 <laughs>